Hi, my name is Justin from Mason County PUD3. I've got a few tips to share with you on how you can save money on your electricity bills at a vacation home or a home that's empty for a long period of time. Let's take a look. The PUD3 Conservation Department receives phone calls from customers who see their energy bill and call in to say, my energy bill was really high, but I wasn't even at home this month. I was away for a period of time. Have you heard the saying, if a tree falls in the woods, does it make a sound? It's kind of similar to this. A home consumes electricity whether you're there or not. I'm going to teach you a few simple things that you can do to help reduce your energy bills while you're away from your home. Did you know that water heating can account for up to 25% of a home's energy usage? Water heaters will continue to maintain the temperature of the water inside the tank whether somebody is using the water or not. So if you're going to be gone for a long period of time, be sure to set off your water heater at the circuit panel. I'll show you how to do that. It's really simple. To turn off your water heater when you're away, you want to go to the home's electrical panel. Open it up and find the circuit breaker that's identified as hot water. Be sure to shut that off. This way, your water heater is not consuming energy while you're away, wasting that energy to keep the water hot when nobody's using it. When you come back, simply flip the same switch back on and wait several hours for your water heater to recharge. Space heating is one of the largest consumers of energy in a Pacific Northwest home. If you're not going to be at home for a while, be sure to turn your thermostat down to 50 to 55 degrees. This will ensure that you're not using electricity unnecessarily to heat a home that nobody is going to be in. Perhaps you have a thermostat that has an adjustable dial. When turning it all the way down, you may get the impression that you're turning it off, when in fact what you're doing is you're setting the temperature at which the heater will kick on at. By setting it all the way down, you are not turning it off, it is still using energy when the temperature in the room goes below the setting on the thermostat. This can be deceiving for some customers who think that they are turning off their heating and not consuming any energy. It's important to realize how a thermostat works. Many homes have consumer electronics, TVs, gaming systems, surround sound. All of these devices have instant on features or small clocks. That means as long as they're plugged in, they are consuming energy. You may not realize it because they look like they're turned off. To save energy in an empty home, unplug the devices from the wall. This way you can be sure that they are not consuming small amounts of energy while you're away and not using them. All these pennies will add up. Another household appliance that consumes energy while we're gone is the refrigerator and freezer. You have a decision to make here. If you're going to be gone for a long period of time, you might want to unplug and defrost the refrigerator and freezer and prop the doors open so that you don't get any funky mildew smells. If you choose to not do that, a recommendation we have is to fill your refrigerator with jugs of water. This will help it to run more efficiently. Before you leave, be sure to close the curtains. This provides another layer of insulation to help keep warmth in your house and cold air out of it. It also helps with the security of your home. If you plan to leave a light on for security, consider putting it on a timer or a day-night photo cell. This way, you're not leaving it on all the time, only when you feel it's necessary. Before you leave for the last time, do a final walkthrough on the house and unplug all electrical devices like clocks. They might not look like they're taking a lot of energy, but it all adds up. Well, it's as easy as that. These are just a few simple things that you can do when preparing to leave your home for a long period of time that can help save you lots and lots of money on future energy bills. If you have any questions, please feel free to call the Mason County PUD3 Conservation Department at 360-426-0777. Or you can find us on the web at www.masonpud3.org. Thanks for watching. Have a nice trip.